guys! Welcome to Grayson's six-year-old update, interview, whatever you want to call it. I have Porter who keeps peeking behind us. I cannot ever get them separated, so Porter might just be making an entrance throughout this video. Who knows? But anyway, this is going to be about all things Grayson now that he is six years old. Grayson, do you like being six? I love being six, and I want to get older. No, I told him he's not allowed to get older. He's only allowed to be six, and that's it. Okay. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, uh, well, then keep me at seven forever. No, you're not allowed to be seven, just six. <gasps> no, they're going to be at seven. <laughs> um. So, um... I am actually recording this video a couple of months after Grayson turned six. I kind of forgot that I needed to do this video. So we're actually in July. Grayson turned six back in April. It is what it is. So we are on summer break right now, but when school starts, Gray, what grade are you gonna be in? First grade. First grade, woohoo! I feel like that's legit school now. And he's gonna go all day to school now. <laughs> Kindergarten where we live was half day. And so now that Grayson's in first grade, the bus will come get him every morning at 8.45 in the a.m. Ah! And then ev it will drop him off every afternoon at four o'clock. So go. he will be gone <laughs> so, so long. It'll be crazy. I have to actually pack him lunches now. We've been spending the summer making sure he can like unwrap things, open different things so I can pack it into his lunch and know that he can open it himself and doesn't need help. We went to the pediatrician about a month after Grayson turned six and so I have updated stats for you all. Grayson is 45 inches tall, wow. putting him in the 34th percentile. So he is short. Actually, funny enough, Porter came to Grayson's pediatrician appointment. I like couldn't find a babysitter. And they ended up like getting Porter's height and Porter is as tall at three and a half that Grayson was last year at five. So Porter's gonna pass Grayson. Grayson, you just got my height, you're just short. And Porter and Avery are tall, tall, but Grayson is average, I guess. Well, below average, because 34th. His weight, he is 42 pounds, putting him in the 23rd percentile. He is tiny, tiny. I can barely ever get him or Porter to eat. They're just like, they eat one chicken nugget and then they run around like crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. And then they don't do head circumference anymore, but his BMI, he's in the 25th percentile. So he's just tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny. But he's following along the same growth curves, so the doctor yeah. wasn't concerned or anything. And then he didn't have to get shots. They said he doesn't have to get shots until, what did they say, Gray? Um, 12 like or something? Seven? Mm, it's a couple years, so he didn't have that. And they basically said he looked great. He's He's excelling everything, so. They were not concerned about Grayson. So a little bit about Grayson before I go into my interview. He is super, super smart. He can do math, he can do addition, subtraction, a little bit of multiplication. He loves doing math problems, especially with his dad. He loves learning Japanese with his dad or learning different Spanish words. Um, so like, Two multiplied by three is like two, three boxes instead two was in them and like count one is like, that's multiplication. Yes. He is reading. He's been reading ever since he was like three years old. He's been able to read. He reads like full on books. <laughs> he sees himself in the viewfinder. He can read full on books. Right now, his favorite is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. We Charlie, recently got that book from the library and he's been reading it. And then I showed him like the original movie and he has just been amazed with that story. Um, but he also loves the Magic Treehouse books. He loves Dog Man and Cat Kid. He can read all of those himself. 
he is at the top of his class um, academics wise when we started Ooh. kindergarten I went to the parent teacher conferences in the first month and they said that he had already hit all of his kindergarten goals and was already hitting the first grade goals so he's just he's advanced he's been advanced his favorite his other favorite thing to learn about right now is space he loves learning about the planets he knows the order of the planets uh -huh. And that's why I have my source instead of Space Crab Scavenger Hunt, my Yoda that Crabs got for my birthday. Say all of it. Yeah, so he got a Yodo player for his birthday a few months ago, and he absolutely loves it. It has books. It's just like an audiobook player, so it plays podcasts, but then it also plays books. So he has books like Aladdin or The Wizard of Oz. Or, or Cinderella. Cinderella, yeah. He's got so many books. And then he also has cards that talk about the solar system. Uh -huh. Or I've downloaded podcasts that talk about different science topics that uh -huh. he likes. Uh-huh. And the one was the point is, is the solar system space camp scavenger hunt. Yeah, he, so he loves these solar system cards, and then he spouts off these random facts to me all the time about the planets. Like, tell me a fact about a planet. Craters are formed on uh, rocky planets when meteorites or asteroids crash into it on rocky planets. Yes, that is crazy. Yeah, so he just knows like so many things. He's so smart and brilliant, way more than what I was at a kid. But Anthony tells me that when he was a little kid, he was just like this. Like he liked to play chess just like Grayson likes to play chess. He liked to just watch like documentaries and learn about the universe and the solar system. And Anthony is still like that. Meanwhile, me at six years old, I was probably like playing with my dolls. I don't know, I was not doing what Grayson was doing. I do love to read though, so I do think Grayson got that from me. But yeah, he's just super, super smart. So I'm so excited to see how he does this year in first grade. And hopefully his teachers can keep challenging him uh, to learn new things and to test his knowledge. Grayson plays a soccer and baseball. We didn't really care for baseball this year, so I think we're gonna be dropping it, but we are signed up for soccer again. He's not the most athletic kid. His brains and the academics are more his thing, but we do the sports just to work on like team building and uh, like getting him active and things like that social skills so we will continue that until he tells me not to and then we do swim lessons gray loves swimming yeah that's <laughs> my favorite yeah he loves drawing and being creative uh -huh, and i sometimes make books yeah he makes books he asks me all the time mom can you get me some pieces of paper i want to draw something i want to make a book or he loves um, drawing with sidewalk chalk. He's always loved that. And he'll draw the planets or he'll make um, um, hopscotch on the sidewalk. Uh -huh. I'm creative. Yeah, yeah. So he is definitely creative, way more creative than Anthony and I together, for sure. Gray definitely has his quirks. He is a little bit of a perfectionist. He doesn't like to get things wrong. He doesn't like to be wrong. He doesn't like to lose. He always wants to win. He loves playing board games. I um, love that. Mm -hmm. And chess, like I said, but again, he doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't like to lose. He's a boy, so he's always moving, always crazy, always doing something, um, but he is a typical firstborn. He follows the rules, he doesn't like to get in trouble, he is um, starting to become more and more self-sufficient, gets himself dressed in the morning, um, gets himself snacks, he puts himself to bed at night, different things like that. So uh, definitely seeing Grayson grow to be more independent okay. and uh, you can just hear it in the way he says things and articulates. Grayson also still loves music, loves songs. Um, right now, he like, I got him into Wicked, the musical, so he's been listening to some of those songs. Six, the musical, he likes some of those songs. Uh, but also, he will just like movie soundtracks, um, like um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, he's been listening to the soundtrack, or um, uh, what else, what other soundtracks do you listen to? 
And like the Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid, yeah. So he loves all that. He loves Disney, loves Disney movies, uh -huh. loves Disney songs. I always listen to the first song of Wicked. Yeah, I know the first song Wicked is your favorite. But yeah, he loves all of those. So I told him, once you get a little bigger, we'll go. I love going to see musicals and plays. It's not Anthony's favorite, but he goes with me because... I don't want to go alone, but maybe I'll be able to replace Anthony soon enough with Grayson and he'll come with me. Maybe he'll develop a love of the theater. But right now we bond on um, Disney movies because I'll spout off different like questions about Disney movies to Gray and he'll get it right. Or we'll be listening to music in the song in the car because I have like the Disney Sirius XM radio station and I'll say, Grayson, quick, what's what movie is this song from? And he'll get it right away. So. Um, he loves Disney World, he loves the beach, going on vacations. We have a trip planned to go to Disney in March, so I'm super excited to take him again because he absolutely loved going to Disney. We went, not last year, but the year before, and he absolutely loved it, so I just know it's gonna get better as he grows older. Gray has an amazing memory. He can remember, like we went on a cruise about a year ago and he can still remember the whole layout of the uh -huh. cruise, what's on what level, uh -huh. what, where we went to, like the things we did. It is amazing the uh -huh. things that he can remember. Uh-huh, and the Martin Luther King Jr. thing. Yeah, he, he, I guess in his kindergarten classroom they had a book and it was like, who is Martin Luther King? And Gray read it so many times, I guess he memorized the I Have a Dream speech. Go, uh -huh. ahead, go ahead and say it. I have a dream that one day I'll open up and all the good, good, all the black, the black skin boys and the black and the white skin boys will meet with black skin girls and white skin girls. Yeah, so it's just like crazy that the things that he memorizes, so. Hopefully that continues, because that will get you far in the in the world if you have a really good memory. That's a little bit about Grayson kind of getting you in as who he is. Um, he's super, super smart, but then he also has a funny quirks as well. Um, so I have these interview questions. I try to keep them the same every year, but for some reason I cannot find uh, the questions that I usually ask. I don't know why I can't find them. So I am just going to just pull up some questions and kind of get so we can get to know Grayson. Yeah. All right, ready? Okay. Okay. What do you want to be when you grow up? A gardener. A gardener. It's been that way since preschool. He still wants to be a gardener. Uh, eventually, I'm sure that will change. He doesn't even like helping us out with like when we do weeding and yard work, so I'm waiting for that to change. But as of right now, he wants to be a gardener. If you ask me, I think he's going to be like a scientist or something like that. He loves science. He's got the brain for it. I think you do really well as that. Yeah. What is your favorite place in the world? My favorite place? Yeah. Mm, like my BFF's house. Oh, and who is your BFF? Allison. My sister, which is his aunt, Allison, is Grayson's BFF. He loves her. Ha they've had a bond ever since he was little. And um, yeah, so he loves going to Allison's house or he loves hanging out with Allison. What makes you happy? Going to the park. Going to the park. Gray does love going to the parks. He loves going down the slide. He's such a daredevil. He'll go climb the highest structure, like no problem. It, it amazes me, his, his bravery. What's your favorite animal? My favorite animal? I'm like a giraffe because it's the tallest animal. Yeah, okay. What is your favorite food? Um, my favorite food, um, it's like bananas. Bananas? All right, and what's your least favorite food? What, what food don't you like? Sardines. Sardines. <laughs> You've never had a sardine, but I can imagine that they would be gross. I don't think I've ever had a sardine either. What is your favorite thing to do? Um, to mix colors. 
mixed colors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have like bath drops in the bathtub, and so they like to mix colors there. Or we have like washable paints that the kids will play with and things like that. What are you good at? Am I good at math? Yeah, he is very good at math. He can do pretty good addition and subtraction, and he's always learning something, um, a new math trick with Anthony. Anthony loves teaching him math. Uh huh. And the new trick is like multiplication. Yeah. Okay, what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is like Cinderella. Cinderella, that's a good one. Grayson is still a little scared of the villains in um, the movies. We have to keep telling him that the good guys always win, but sometimes that's hard for Grayson to remember when the bad guys are on the TV screen, and he's always been like that. It's really sweet. What is your favorite TV show? Um, Storybots, I Storybots. Guess. I was going to say, it's definitely Storybots. It's on Netflix. And it's like these robots and each episode focuses on like a science question and Grayson absolutely loves it. And I love that show because it's very educational and they get like so many famous people on that show. Anthony and I are always like, how do they find these people? Like, how do they get them on their show? But it's a really good show. If you're looking for an educational kid show, definitely recommend Storybots on Netflix. What's your favorite book? Uh, there's lots of books, but I can't, um, maybe, like, okay, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, we have that already, so. Yeah, that's his favorite right now. That or Dog Man, I would say. He really do like, he likes the comic book style books, so. What's your favorite song? Like, the, the first song of Wicked. <laughs> no one mourns the wicked. That's your favorite song. Mm -hmm. All right then. There you go. That's Grayson's favorite song. I would have thought like the chicken dance song. He loves putting that song on, and he and Porter will just run around the um, the kitchen like crazy, like crazy with the chicken dance song. <laughs> What's your favorite subject in school? Science. Science, yeah, Gray loves science. They didn't get to do too much science this past year because he, went, again, went to half day kindergarten, but I think in first grade, he will do a lot more science, so he will love that. Who's your friends? Like, at preschool, and like, your parents, and... Oh, What's your favorite holiday? Um, like, Christmas. Christmas. What makes you happy? See my B F F. Your B F F, Allison. <laughs> and what makes you sad? Not get, being able to play games. Yeah, when you're not allowed to play games. Mm -hmm. What are you scared of? I'm scared of monsters. Monsters. But I'm really brave. You are. You're pretty brave. Nothing really scares Gray, like the dark, bugs, snakes. He, he really doesn't get scared of anything. If you could go anywhere on vacation, where would you go? Mm, like, um, like to Honduras. Honduras? Mm -hmm. Why Honduras? Because we went there on the cruise ship, I know. Yes, we did go. We went on a cruise ship last summer, and one of the yeah. places we went to was Honduras, and that was really fun. And Mexico. And Mexico. We also went to Mexico, too. What, Gray, where'd you go? Ah, it's right. <laughs> what is your favorite color? Um, purple. Purple. Yeah, it's been purple for a while. That's a good one. What's your favorite drink? Um, water and milk. Water and milk. That's all he drinks. Daddy, water and milk. someday oh. I'll drink soda when I'm an adult. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Soda's not good for you though, so probably shouldn't shouldn't do that. At the time, hey, hey it's Porter. Porter. <laughs> Say hi, Porter. Hi. Pass it on to Porter now. Well, great. Wait. 
what? How old is Porter? Um, he's three. And how old is Avery? She's one. And I think that's about all for the questions. Are you done with this video? Uh-huh. Pass it on to Porter. Well, wait. Come here so we can close it out. Okay. Well, I think that's going to be it for Grayson's six-year-old video. I'm kind of losing him. He doesn't have the best attention span as a six-year-old. But I hope you all enjoyed it. I love having these videos to look back on to see what his answers are every year, even though the questions kind of changed a little bit because I cannot find the other questions that I used to say, oh well. But anyway, this is Borders. Uh, Grayson's like out of camera view. I don't know why he left, but that is all. That is Grayson at six years old. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to stay tuned for more family vlogs and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. 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 Bye.